Hey everyone, I want to show you in this video how to take a PDF and upload it to Canvas as a Cami assignment that your students can work on. Very important to start with, whatever you want to use, first have it as a PDF in your Google Drive. So here we go. I've got this fractions on a number line practice right here in my Google Drive. So I'm going to move over to my sandbox course, go to assignments, create a new assignment, test cami fraction sheet. And now you can do all the things that you normally do in Canvas in terms of points and assignment group and everything like that. We're using an external tool. Let's find that first. So I want to choose Cami Google Drive assignment. That's why it has to be in Google, Google Drive. We'll select that. It's going to bring up a dialog box where I get to choose my file from my Google Drive. And if I remember correctly, I called it fractions on a number line. There it is. I'll select that. Please, before you leave this page, make sure you load this tool in a new tab. And now you can change other things like attempts or who you're assigning it to, everything like that. But for right now, I'm just going to save and publish it. Okay. Now, it's loaded. Let's see what happens when a student works on this. So when a student is seeing this, let's move to the student view. And they are seeing their assignments. There it is, test fraction can test cami fraction sheet. It tells them that they have to open that in a new window. And now they've got everything that they want to do in cami. I'm going to shrink myself down and move things over just a little bit. And of course, now what they can do is they can use things like comments or text box or drawing. Let's do a drawing right here. And let's do that in green. One and a half is going to be right here. They can mark that up there. Oh, it's the same problem down here. One and a half. So what happens here is that the student can just go through and mark the problems. When they are done, they want to click Submit. So we're going to go ahead and submit that. Notice that it's saving something in their Google Drive, and we'll get back to that. So their work is being saved in Google Drive. Fantastic. If they want to unsubmit, they can and go back. Let's not worry about that. So now what we want to do is we just want to close this down and leave the student view. So what does it look like when we grade this? So now we're on the teacher side. If I go to speed grader, it is going to load my student's work. There it is. I can see what's going on. I can scan the entire document and I can give a grade. Yay, that was good. Or boo, that was bad. But I'm able to see everything that's done there and go ahead and submit that grade. Now, that's the basic workflow. You take something from Google Drive, you create an assignment, you use an external tool of Cami to make that assignment happen, students work on it, you use SpeedGrader to grade it. I want to point out one important thing here. I'm going to go to my Google Drive, and this is going to be true for the students' Google Drive as well. Their Google Drive will have a folder called Cami. So I'm going to double click on that. And they should have subfolders for every course they're in. And there's one for the Sandbox course. So I double click there. And then what we have is the original work. And if I click on that folder, there's their work. So they can always see if they want to the work that they submitted. There's going to be a copy of it in their Google Drive. So if they're taking notes, those notes will live in their Google Drive. If they turn in an assignment on Cami or an exit ticket, they, those will be in their Google Drive. So that's one of the benefits of Cami. Everything the student does is saved in their, in their Google Drive.